Although it's widely recommended to keep the NEC contract as close to a standard text as possible, you'll often find this won't be the case. Z clauses are used to amend the standard NEC contract clauses by means of adding new clauses or amending the wording of existing clauses. They are incorporated through the contract data, but why would someone want to alter the text of such a widely popular contract? Some believe the NEC provisions are not as extensive as they need to be. The following are the common uses for Z clause amendments. 1. General obligations of the contractor to comply with the applicable statuses, codes of practice, regulations and so on. 2. Add in the requirement for collateral warranties. 3. Accommodate special needs such as those peculiar to the country in which the work is to be done. 4. Unnecessary clauses like compliance with the law. 5. Provisions which should have been in the work's information or scope. 6. Repetition of existing contract clauses. and 7. Attempting to change the balance of risk. Mott MacDonald's research found that only 8% of Z clauses invoked are actually valid. The rest were unnecessary or attempts to change the contract risk profile. It is often said the Z clause should only be used if it's absolutely necessary to facilitate specific contract requirements, and it seems the data supports this claim. Otherwise, this could lead to confusion or ambiguities in the contract. If there are Z clauses within a contract you don't understand, it's recommended you seek legal advice. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.